I have a saying, I might be wrong, but I'm never in doubt. As an executive, I never had the luxury of being in a position to not call a play. A play has to get called. Somebody's got to call it. In today's world, people don't want to call plays because they're afraid of being wrong. You're not going to know it was a wrong play until you pull the trigger. Call the play. Stand behind your decision. If it's the wrong one, at least you found out quick enough. So now you can make a pivot and make the right decision and move forward. When you find out that they're wrong, you quickly make a decision to make a right decision, right? By the time the rest of your competition and the rest of the world decided to make a decision at all, you're already down the block. You're already miles ahead of everybody and you still have the opportunity to make the make wrong decisions because in a whole, people don't pull triggers. People don't make decisions. When you lead people, you cannot be in doubt when you make a decision. Pull triggers, starve the doubt. You might be wrong and that's okay but never be in doubt. Tyler is a millionaire, was not always one, is a millionaire. Ask yourself the question, are you? The greatest thing about this call is you get arm in arm with this guy. Don't be the smartest guy in the room. Don't let your ego be like, well, I know more. No, you don't. The person who knows the most is the one who has the most zeros in the account. This is not an academic game, this is a business game. If this was a university and we were in college, then maybe the way you wrote and the way you spoke and all that would be matter. It doesn't, not on this call. The only thing that matters in this call is X's and O's. This is a business call. We're playing the money game, okay? So look at your money and it'll tell you if you're winning or not. When I put you in a room with guys who have X's and O's in the account, shut up and listen to them. Don't push back at me when I say to you, you sound like a retarded robot. Don't push back and take offense that you sound like an idiot. When the guy next to you does it and he's got millions, this is a business call for money only. That's it, that's all this is. If you feel like academics is your thing, then you're in the wrong world, especially if you're a contractor. I want you to crush and suffocate your market, and kill your competition. Think about it this way. If in your marketplace, the customers only knew you and didn't know anybody else, would that do good for your business? So when I talk about suffocating, coming down and raining down on a market, we take a neighborhood and we crush a neighborhood. We squeeze all the juice out of it. There's millions of dollars laying in, in these areas. Every street is paved with gold. You just got to get it. By the way, we all know how to get it. We're all trained how to do it here. If a person is open and they want it done, we can get the job done, can't we? We can convince them to say yes, right? So, so for the senior guys here whose skills are high and tight, you guys are flying like eagles. You're walking around the world with the cheat code. I want you to add this to your arsenal, okay? I want you to remember who you are. Take it personal. Be a winner. Be a champion. Don't let your teammates down. Don't let your people down. Go out there and win. And, and listen, and listen to me. It's okay to get pissed off. Use that energy. Get mad.